So around about two and a half years ago, I made a video called Finland versus England in brackets, the differences. So this video kind of outlined the differences that I found between Finland and England, of course. As the title suggests, no clickbait there. This was a time before clickbait, a simpler time. But now when I look back on that video, like I say, about two and a half years later, I just think, Dave, you have no idea, man. But now having lived in Helsinki for several months, there are definitely some differences that I wouldn't have picked up on back then, which I have now, so hey, guess what? I'm gonna share them with you today. The first one I actually need to, to get a prop for, excuse me. So there are a lot of Finnish tech companies coming up these days, uh, lots of innovation and that kind of stuff. But for me, there is one innovation which I've found only in Finland so far, which just has blown my mind. And that is uh, this. But actually, more specifically, this. Hello. To the average person, this might not look like much. But to the average guy, this solves 95% of the fights that you have with your partner. And that is a flushable, biodegradable cardboard tube for the toilet roll. This is something you do not get in the UK as far as I am aware. And the instructions on the uh, on the cardboard tube itself is in Finnish, Swedish and English. So that leads me to think that this is a this is a Finnish a Finnish thing. I don't know, I'll have to I'll, I might actually just google that real quick. This is something I never thought I'd do. Flush and go. Oh my god, there's actually a YouTube video of something testing flush and go toilet roll. Wow. Let's just say it. Let's just say it's a finished thing, okay? But I've lost count of how many times I've finished the toilet roll, left it on the side, and then Kat, my fiance, just comes and like yells at me. It's like, how many times do you need me to remind you to put this in the recycling bin? This solves all our problems. Now the second one is actually a bit of a negative uh, towards Finland, actually. I'm sorry. Maybe I should like keep score. England versus Finland. The toilet roll is definitely one point to Finland. One nil. So the second one is about your popcorn. And I know this is serious business. In the theaters in the UK, you can get either sweet or salted popcorn. And in Finland, it's like this, I guess it's buttered popcorn. And I think they've taken a little leaf out of the Americans book because in, in the States you get buttered popcorn and then you can put like seasonings and stuff on that. Too complicated. I can't, I, no, just give me sweet or salty or a mixture of both. And pro tip, always go for a mixture of both. It is, it's good, it is really good. So I'm sorry to say, Finland, that's, that's a point, that's a point to England right there. It's 1-1. One, one. Number three, and this is a big one and something I've mentioned before. When you rent an apartment, at least here in Helsinki, you're expected to pay at least two months deposit and then one month's rent on top of that. So you've got to somehow find three months rent before you've even moved in to a place. And let's say like a decent sized place for two people costs at least a thousand euros per month, at least anywhere near the city that that is. So you have to find 3000 euros before you've even started, which I don't know, for me at least, that's a lot of money. A lot of money just to throw away almost. Whereas in the UK, one month deposit is usually pretty standard. But that can actually go up to like six months deposit if you're self-employed, which which really sucks. But I guess for like the average person with a steady job, it's one month's deposit and then one month's rent. So I'm sorry to say that that is a point for England. You started so well, Finland, and now it's 2-1. Uh, 2-1 to England. I wonder if there's an app like to keep score. That'd be fun. Of course there's a scoreboard app. You'll have to excuse the ads, there's no way I'm gonna pay for this app for this one video, sorry. So next up, and this is something that I realized really early on uh, when I started coming to Finland, and that is that people, at least in Helsinki, they actually wait for the green man to come before they cross the road. And I know this sounds like a really weird thing to notice and to mention, but everyone in London is in a rush all the time and they will happily risk their life crossing a road where the red man is saying, stop, you can't cross now. They'll risk their life just to go and get their Starbucks Frappuccino or whatever they're going to do. There's been times where I'm like, are these people okay? There's like no traffic, why can't we just go? But of course you should wait for the green man, that's what it's there for, for everyone's safety, so... 
That's a point to Finland. 2-2. Two, two. I, don't, I don't know why I'm celebrating. I, I, this, is, this is so stupid. Now the next thing is actually something that I knew about before I came to Finland. It was something that Kat told me and I don't know, it just kind of, it kind of stuck with me as this kind of odd thing, but maybe it's not so strange. And that is in every Finnish home, you take your shoes off regardless. I almost feel like the, the place could be a building site and like dust everywhere. It's like, would you mind just taking your shoes off? Thanks. Whereas in the UK, I feel like it's sometimes you will take your shoes off, sometimes you won't. Sometimes the the owner of the house will ask you, would you mind taking your shoes off? Or you'd know beforehand, I don't know. But I like this way. I like that knowing that wherever you go, you take your shoes off regardless. There's no like awkward hanging in the in the hallway waiting to see what everyone else is doing. So shoes off in homes point to Finland. Now this next one is going to tie things up I think and that is the monopoly, the government monopoly on alcohol. So for those who don't know, here in Finland if you want any kind of alcohol above a certain percentage you have to go to a store called Alko and that is where you can find your spirits, your wines and your high percentage beers, that kind of stuff. Wikipedia describes Alko as the national alcoholic beverage retailing monopoly in Finland. Now, if you want just a regular alcohol percentage beer under 5.5%, you can just go to a supermarket, pick it up there, no problem. But if you want a stronger beer or some wine or even something a little bit stronger, you have to go to these alcohol stores, which could be, you know, nowhere near where you live, for example. Whereas in the UK, you just go to the supermarket and you can get anything you want regardless of the alcohol percentage, spirits, wines, beers, you name it, you got it. And as I'm a big fan of convenience, I'm sorry, but that's a goal to England. Let's see where the next point goes to kind of regretting this whole scoreboard thing now. Ah, yes. Another really mundane thing, almost as mundane as toilet rolls. <laughs> oh, what am I doing in my life? Now this is actually something that Kat mentioned to me before we ever stepped foot in Finland, and that is the, the taps, the faucets, whatever you want to call them. In the UK, I think it's pretty much standard to have two separate hot and cold taps, faucets, whatever. In some maybe more modern homes, you might have these mixer taps, which you find in every single home in Finland. And when Kat mentioned it the first time, I was like, what the hell is the difference? Who cares? It's a tap. But now after being back and forth to Finland and living here for a few months, I've got to say the mixer taps, it's where it's at. Oh because when you've got two separate taps and you just want like warm water, you either have to mix it in the basin and then wash your face or whatever, or you like do this macarena between the two. And it's, it just doesn't, doesn't work as well. So I wonder where the point's gonna go for this one. Are you guys nervous? Mm, we'll see. <laughs> ah, crap, I gave it already. Whoops. That goes to Finland. Mix of taps is where it's at made the same joke again, who cares? And again, one of the most mundane things you can do with your life. <laughs> oh my God. Right, you ready for this one? Banks, you know, the place you keep your money. And this is actually quite a recent development because I've just opened up my first Finnish bank account. I know, thank you very much. Yes, it's very exciting. And, and regardless of like the process of an international person needing a bank account, that's a whole separate freaking video, let me tell you. And so, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start from the beginning here. So you open your account and they say, you're gonna need a debit card of some sort. Yes, please, that would be lovely. That's gonna cost you, I don't know, let's say three euros a month. No, surely not. Yeah, you gotta pay for your freaking debit card. In the UK, any debit card, as far as I know, you get, you just get it free. It's like, yeah, you're using our bank, use our card, please. I think it's quite usual in the UK to have to pay for your debit card on a monthly basis, and then obviously the interest and your payments on the credit card and stuff like that, but not for a debit card. But anyway, okay, you can overlook the three, four euros you pay for your debit card, whatever, it's, you know, it's fine. Ah, but you're gonna need uh, internet banking. For, for your account, right? Because, you know, modern day, you're gonna need internet banking. Oh yeah, yes please. That's, a, that's another three or four euros on top a month. 
<laughs> Once again, in the UK, absolutely free. You just set it up and you're good to go. So I think for my like super basic bank account with basic debit card and online banking, I'm paying something like seven and a half euros per month. It just doesn't make sense to me. Maybe there's something that goes on behind the scenes in the banks that I don't know about, but I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't sit well with me, let me tell you. So, that's a point to England. England! <laughs> now this one doesn't take much explaining, so this is gonna be a quick one. In Finland, in some coffee shops you get free re refills. In England you don't. Point, point for Finland, easy. I put an Instagram picture up saying how like revolutionary this was for me to get a free refill in uh, an espresso house, for example. And someone was like, yeah, that's pretty common practice in most of these like chain coffee shops. So, uh, point for common practice. Yes. And by the way, I made this list in no particular order and I certainly didn't know I was going to be keeping score. So this is, uh, this is quite tight for something that I, I didn't plan. Whew. Who's going to win? Who knows? Keep watching to find out. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Okay. I'm going to try and compose myself for this one because this is something that to my very core hurts me a little bit. Now I live in Finland. Now, now I can a little bit go over the fact that there's no local Amazon here in Finland. I don't mean a rainforest. I mean, you know, the website where you can buy it, literally anything. Now I have heard the rumor that there's going to be some kind of Amazon pistefi coming soon, but the warehouse will probably be in Sweden somewhere. So it's not going to be the same, but it'll be, it'll be good. Great. All right, done. I'm over that. But say you order something, you order a package. In the UK, you order a package, you wait for a knock on the door and you get your package. Happy days. Whereas here, at least in Helsinki, what happens rather is they'll either take it to the post office where you go and collect it or like these lock boxes in supermarkets where you go and pick it up. And I don't know why, but I want my package. I want it brought to me. <laughs> This is such a first world problem. I'm actually like cringing a little bit as I say it. Oh God. But I paid for delivery, man. Bring it to me. <laughs> okay, we're, we're gonna gloss over that one a little bit because it feels stupid saying, but that's a point to England. I get my package and I don't have to, you know, exercise to go, <laughs> go pick it up. Oh my God, please don't think less of me after that one. So now onto the topic of drugs. And I, of course I don't mean anything dangerous. I mean painkillers. Yeah, I know. I told you there's gonna be some weird things on this video, you know, but, but, but bear with me. So here in Finland, you can get something called Burana, which is an ibuprofen, ibuprofen, which is a painkiller, which is 400 milligrams. Now check this out. In the UK, if you want anything over 200 milligrams of strength, you gotta get it prescribed from your doctor which is sticky, I don't know, kind of stupid if you ask me. So I think it was actually Kat's parents that came over to visit us once in London and they needed some ibuprofen. And I think it was actually Kat's mum that described them as baby aspirin. <laughs> oh no, my score's gone. What? What was the score? Like five, five? I think it was a draw, wasn't it? So Finland, for your hardcore drugs, <laughs> you get a point. <laughs> and the last one comes down to the internet. Now I can almost see you Finns out there just celebrating already because you know your internet rocks and you have every right to be happy because the internet in the UK sucks. It's so bad. So let me, let me give you an example. So here we've got an apartment and we were looking into getting internet service to the apartment and it actually turned out that since we're only here for a few months to, to get a 4G SIM card, put it in an old phone and just wireless like hotspot it and no word of a lie that hotspot in the phone is faster speeds upload and download than what we had in London which was like plugged into the wall and routers and fiber optic wires and all that it was it's faster from a cell phone on 4g than it is like a hardwired modem in London now obviously I can't speak for internet all around the country but in Helsinki at least that's what matters to me most. So it's a resounding win. It was close up until now, but it's a win for Finland. So there we have it guys. There are some differences that I found between Finland and England after living here for a little while. If you, if you found any of these particularly interesting or funny like differences, let me know which ones you thought were the best 
in the comments. So if you have enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a little like on this video. If you're new over here and new to my channel, hi, I'm Dave, I make videos over here every single week. It's an exciting time here on the channel with the summer coming here in Finland, wedding coming up, there's lots going on. So go ahead and click that little subscribe button if you wanna see more of this face. I mean, I can't blame you. But anyway, with all this said guys, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. <laughs> Freaking scoreboard, man.